My name is Liz Forkin Bohannon, and I am the author of Beginner's Pluck. So I'm also, my day job is that I am the CEO and co-founder of a socially conscious fashion brand called Seiko Designs. So about 10 years ago, after finishing my master's degree in journalism, I moved to Uganda because I wanted to learn more about the issues that were facing women and girls living in extreme poverty and in conflict and post-conflict zones. And long story short, for the purposes of this interview, you can read more about the story in the book. Um, I ended up meeting an incredible group of young women in between high school and university that were academically qualified to go on to college but couldn't afford to do so. And so I started a charity and then I shut that down and then I started a chicken farm and that failed. And I ended up designing a pair of these funky strappy sandals and I went to the school and hired three young women, Mary, Mercy and Rebecca, and promised these young women that if they made sandals for the next nine months for their gap year during high school and university, that they would go to college in the fall. And they were like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay and came back home to the u.s and started selling sandals out of the back of my car which is you know definitely what your parents want you doing with your master's degree in journalism um and basically for the last 10 years i have been building out a best in class vertically integrated manufacturing company in east africa we've enabled hundreds of female scholars to continue on to university we've created full time, fair wage, dignified jobs for thousands of artisans across the globe. And most recently, we have enabled thousands of primarily female entrepreneurs here in the United States to start and grow and run their own social enterprises. And through that process, I have learned a lot about what it means and what it takes to build a life of purpose and passion and impact that aligns with your deepest values. But I've also become really hyper aware of the ways in which our current culture, the kind of inspirational Instagram motivation about dreaming big and finding your passion and like you're so special, you just have to believe that and tap into it, um, is actually affecting us. And I really believe that it's creating a lot of fear and anxiety and serious analysis paralysis. And so I wrote Beginner's Pluck. I use kind of my story of starting and growing this company as kind of the narrative framework, um, but it's really about the 14 principles that I've identified over the last decade um, that I believe are infinitely more helpful than kind of the standard pop culture narrative that we're getting right now um, to help propel us into building really meaningful lives of purpose and passion and impact. I open up the book, principle number one is to own your average, <laughs> um, which is pretty, uh, pretty contrary to a lot of the existing messages about, you know, like you're super special, you're probably smarter than you think you are, and you just have to realize that and be confident. Um, and I really challenge people that like, the, the truth of the matter is like, statistically speaking, this is how averages work, you're probably pretty average, somewhere kind of in the middle of the bell curve. Um, and that's actually a remarkable thing to not only be able to recognize, but fully own. Because when we believe that we're probably pretty average, uh, and this isn't just from me learning and seeing other people grow and be successful, there's actually really solid social science behind it. Um, it actually allows us, we take more risks, we take on more challenging assignments. Um, it really propels us more towards a growth mentality um, than this really fragile kind of protective ego space where we make a lot of our decisions based off of fear and based off of protecting our identity as, you know, very special achievers. And so um, I really encourage people to own their average. We talk about dreaming small and how important that is in, in a world that is constantly telling us like, go dream big, um, that it's actually the way that we get big dreams in the first place is by allowing ourselves to dream small and then actually doing something about those small dreams and that in that process of kind of momentum and creation and iterating and pivoting, um, that that is where 
we don't find our passion, but we can build our passion, which is another principle of the book that uh, it may sound like just kind of semantics, the difference between finding and building. But when you believe in this idea that maybe someday you'll find your passion, there's a bit of um, mystery and kind of luck that's involved with that. Like maybe I'll have the right conversation at the right time, open the right door, make the right decision, and then I'll kind of discover my passion. And what that does is that puts people in a really passive state. It's a lot of kind of, um, I have many reasons that I named the book Beginner's Pluck, but one of the reasons um, is because I think the notion of luck in general um, is really harmful um, because it really kind of puts us in this place where we think we need, we need to wait for lightning to strike as opposed to having a much more empowered and proactive stance that literally everyone can build a meaningful life that aligns with their deepest values and that creates a beautiful impact in the world. Um, but you can only do that if you believe that you can. Um, and the other principles are really uh, teaching you exactly how to go about doing that. My core focus, frankly, is still on running my company, on growing it, on growing the network of impact entrepreneurs across the United States who are running alongside of us um, to really run and scale our company. And so my hope is that this book really inspires a movement. We call them, it's our, it's been really fun actually, you know, the book just launched a couple weeks ago and we've already got this community of people that refer to themselves as pluckies. So we've got this community of pluckies who are finding one another. We've got a Facebook group that you can join that are sharing stories, sharing tips, really encouraging and supporting one another, kind of um, banding around these principles. And so my core goal, frankly, is continuing to like run my company, grow it, build my own life of purpose and passion and impact and invite people into that and then through the book and the community that surrounds that really become um, a place where other entrepreneurs other artists other dreamer doers um, and I'm really passionate about the fact that this book isn't just for entrepreneurs I think it's it's very helpful for entrepreneurs who are just starting out or who like me are you know a decade into their career and needing kind of a boost of like a fresh way to think about things if you lead people I think that this is going to be an incredibly helpful book for you but I also think it's really helpful for anybody who happens to be in a time of transition so a recent college graduate who's like facing the kind of angst of like oh my gosh what's next um, a stay-at-home mom who's like you know thinking about maybe transitioning back into the workplace as I mentioned definitely a leader who's leading a team whether that's at a startup or um, or a corporation and so my hope is I'm gonna keep doing my thing but I hope that the community that surrounds the book the book itself really creates a community of encouragement and inspiration for people to run their own races